New revelations in the Christopher Dorner case. Police have formally closed the investigation, and the couple he took hostage in those final hours are now speaking out for the first time. ABC Cecilia Vega is on the scene at Big Bear Lake with the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning. Boy, the story this couple tells is downright chilling. They say they were held for 15 hours inside one of these houses. That 15 minutes, excuse me, they say it felt like 15 hours. But for the couple that crossed Christopher Dorner's path and survived this morning, there is relief. Overnight, the unassuming couple, the 33-year-old former cop held hostage, spoke publicly for the first time about their harrowing ordeal. The moment that you realized that this was Christopher Dorner, what went through your mind? Thought we were dead. Uh, uh, yeah. It really, it was I, pretty scary. Karen and Jim Reynolds say they came face to face with Dorner when they went to check on one of their ski lodge cabins around noon Tuesday. He was holed up inside. They say he was heavily armed, that he tied their wrists and ankles, even covered their heads with pillowcases. For 15 minutes, they lay on the floor of their cabin, terrorized. Did at any time he talk to you about why he was doing what he was doing? Yes, he, he had said, I name. just he want to clear my problem. name. The couple only managed to break free when Dorner fled in their car. The Reynolds' story fills in much of what police didn't know about Dorner's whereabouts after he crashed his car and then set it ablaze one week ago. The couple believes Dorner may have been in their vacant cabin just yards away from a police command post since at least last Friday. Meantime, late Wednesday, police said tear gas canisters may have started the fire they believe ultimately engulfed Dorner, but not on purpose. We did not intentionally burn down that cabin to get Mr. Dorner out. And this morning, we now know the name of Dorner's final victim. San Bernardino County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremiah McKay was killed in Dorner's last shootout with police. The father of two young children telling the Associated Press earlier this week, we're hoping this comes to a close without more casualties. And still no positive ID on that body pulled from the burn house. Now, two days ago, Elizabeth, the authorities still awaiting forensic tests. All right, Cecilia, thank you so much.